good mythical afternoon ladies and gentlemen this is mr ajala with 12.1 manifest destiny a condensed version of this section so there are three major objectives number one you will describe the meaning behind manifest destiny you will identify the purpose of the trails leading westward and you will describe why the mormons moved westward so first thing is the concept of Manifest Destiny itself. So this actually began all the way back with Thomas Jefferson and the Louisiana Purchase all the way in 1803. And then in the 1840s, the majority of Americans in our political system really wanted to expand the country. Expansion fever began to override our perspectives. So what ends up occurring is we get this concept, this idea that is the United States destiny it is our god-given right to expand and civilize all the lands from the atlantic to the pacific ocean from sea to shining sea so one some of the ways we did this was by having these trails moving westward so we had multiple trails uh two of the largest ones that we that are the most well known are the santa fe trail which would from independence missouri to santa fe new mexico this was to trade with uh the mexican government until we gain that land ourselves and then it's also uh, for settlement then we had oregon trail which was uh from independence missouri to portland oregon and this was mostly for settlement with some trade uh, in particular with the british government in canada a lot of these people on these trails would begin to move westward and drop off as they went so for example the oregon trail a lot of these american settlers would begin to settle this area of our territory they would use the oregon trail to wander around and get close to where they would like to go some would go through the south pass and continue all the way to oregon others would go on the california trail which at this time was alto california later would become our california towards sacramento and they would begin to go to this area some would take the old the santa fe trail from independence missouri and go more southwards and settle in this area. New Mexico, uh, when it was our territory, or to trade when this was part of Mexico. And then you could also take the old Spanish trail to continue to Southern Alto, California, which is now modern day Los Angeles. Then we get to the Mormons. So the Mormons was a Christian religion that developed in the United States and was founded by a gentleman known as Joseph Smith. Their church will be named the Church of Latter-day Saints. So after uh, Joseph Smith died, Brigham Young would take over the Church of Latter-day Saints. And what he would do is he began to move the Mormons westward because they were being persecuted because of their religious beliefs. In particular, their uh, beliefs behind polygamy, having multiple wives. Be aware, modern day, most Mormons do not believe in polygamy. So what they ended up moving to uh, Utah, which will be their holy area known as Deseret. I'm sorry about the pronunciation there. And they're really well known for taking Utah, which is more or less a desert, and using various types of irrigation systems to begin to flourish in that area. So it's kind of neat what they actually did with that land. And that's it. So have a great rest of the day. And as always, don't forget to be awesome.